Hey guys, welcome back to the Maxim Me channel. Today what I got for you is this Cold Steel Safekeeper 3. And uh, let me just tell you a little bit about uh, why I bought it. Uh, I was watching uh, Platoon again. Probably seen that movie about a hundred times. Uh, I was watching Platoon the other night. I believe it was uh, Thursday night. And uh, you know that part in the end of the movie where Charlie Sheen's character and the other soldiers confront Barnes, the uh, the bad sergeant, and uh, they get into the fisticuffs, and Barnes whips out his punch dagger and slices him across the eye. Well, the very next day, I was in the Army Navy store, and I happened to see this, and I was like, "Ooh." That looks like Barnes's knife. Let's pick one of those up. So I did. And uh, pretty pleased with this end of it. The steel end of it. The kayaks, eh. Really, they gotta really do something with this stuff. So anyways, let's get into it. Uh, five inches total in length with the uh, kayak sheath. Those Secure X, Kayak, they're, they're all the same stuff, different names basically. Um, two and a half inch blade with the nice blood groove in there. And you can see the cold steel, Taiwan, OS 8 steel. It'll hold an edge like all the rest of the cold steel line. There's the Safekeeper 3 emblem. And uh, it's only sharpened on one side, as you can see. The back end, with a little work, could probably be sharpened. The handle, same uh, stuff, I believe. Kyx handle. Yeah, Krayx. Krayx handle. Sorry, Krayx handle. Uh, Secure X sheath. Uh, yeah, two and a half inch blade, five millimeters in thickness. You can see she's a pretty thick puppy, and it even it's even pretty thick at the handle. It's a very well made punch dagger, absolutely. Uh, Three point five ounces in weight, and. Uh I think uh, that covers the specifications. Yeah, model number is uh, 12 CT. Now, the issue I have is the sheath. Yesterday, or when I bought it right out of the box, no play. You hear that? It's not going to last long. And today, I was out doing a job, and I had it clipped onto my back pocket. And don't you know, the pocket kick clip breaks. I ended up looking for it for about an hour, going to a supply house that I went to, a Home Depot, and it was back at the building I was at, behind the building. Thank God I found it. Because I did pay the top, pro top dollar price for this at the time. Little did I know, Cold Steel is selling these for 25 bucks but they're out of stock right now. So they must have been on sale for Christmas or something. But all in all, a nice punch dagger. And you know me and my neck knives, I love neck knives. I, I like to carry uh, weapons that are easily concealable. But uh, this really pissed me off today. So all in all, a good punch dagger very well made if you want to see them use it in action on a uh, on a uh, mannequin or a dummy uh, you can go to cold steel and they'll show a, a video I'll leave a link in the description down below um, and you can see what this thing can do in the hands of the right person um, it's a pretty serious weapon and with that blood groove in it it makes the penetration especially into a body very easy that's what that blood groove is for it's for penetration and so you can pull out so you can penetrate and pull out 
because if you don't have that, suction will not let you pull the knife out of a body. So a very formidable weapon in the hands of a right person. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, you can uh, subscribe for more. Um, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video that helps out and uh, you all you guys can also uh, join us on Google Plus EDC knives the community there we got going we got a just got a couple more members up to about 40 something now so anybody who sees this you're more than welcome to come post your knives post uh, the things you carry every day EDC knives on Google Plus and uh, just thanks a lot again, guys, for watching the videos, and peace out. Have a great and happy uh, new year.